Hi and hello, let's play fans, it's your pal Berg787 back for a brand new episode of uh, almost the darkest dungeon there of XCOM. XCOM The Long War Beta 15. Uh, yeah, last mission, Terra Mission, did it pretty well. Didn't lose anyone, saved actually more than we lost in terms of uh, civilians, so that was always good. Um, we actually now have a covert extraction to do, so this is the squad that I have assembled, as you will see in a second. So we've got our covert guy on the ground, and this is who we're taking along. Now... One scout, two assaults, one sniper. It would have actually been two scouts, two assaults, but I didn't actually have another scout to take. So I've had to modify things a little bit. The scout, we've got our uh, alloy plating back to make sure they've got good health. So eight health, I think it is, with the tack vest. It might be seven, actually. But whatever, it's still at least seven, which is what we need. Uh, shotguns and flashbangs. The assault, one of them uh, has gone with the assault. Uh, uh, basically, it's the same, the same get up, if you know what I mean, to make sure it's all all right. The flashbangs, I mean, there's a choice. I could have gone for APs, I could have gone for HEs, but I think the flashbangs are going to serve me the best. Obviously, this is quite a close combat specialist group, so the map can affect things, but I feel fairly confident in the, in the fact that we can get in close, do a lot of damage, get out, that kind of stuff. So it would have been nice to have another scout just for the double, um, the double activating of overwatches, but whatever so we've had to modify that and the sniper actually isn't using the sniper rifle they're using the marksman scope actually hmm. this is a tricky situation here because if I remove the ceramic plating oh, actually I don't need to what am I talking about sorry for some reason I figured I need to give them the marksman scope uh, for the marksman's rifle but she's already got squad sight so that's fine uh, yeah okay so that's all good and we'll obviously have our chap on the ground who is a gunslinging assault he does have, um, he does have one of the other laser pistols, so hopefully he'll be of use. We're not actually going to move him around too much until we sort of know where we're going. Obviously, there's going to be two of those pylon things that we need to activate. And when we do activate them, they do uh, activate more troops to come in, so we kind of want to do them as and when we can, We've rather than just rush to them. Operating inside Japan. Strike one will need to move in and assist our operative in securing the new data. But there's no real rush on this mission. We can take our time. We don't want to get caught in a, in a big massive activation bomb of Exalt. Just running around crazily going... Bruh, 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 that little noise that they make when they're speaking. Like, bruh, 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 like that. It's like They sound like the dudes from Half-Life. Like the, the soldiers who came in after Gordon Freeman. Who were like... Bruh, 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 like that. I think they're the same people actually. Exalt and those dudes from Half-Life. I can't remember what they're called. The Counter-Strike dudes. Anyway... Nothing, nothing uh, inconspicuous about just dropping in in a big ship. Exalt forces spooked one of our field operatives who was attempting to recover new intelligence by hacking an Exalt comm relay. Strike one is going in to ensure the operative is covered while decrypting the data from the remaining relays. We have to keep that operative alive if we're going to recover the remaining intel. Objective updated. All right. I'm not rushing to that. I'm going into the building. And only once I'm pretty sure, safe that it's uh, going to be okay in the building, am I coming out? That's going to be the first one we go for. Fuck that one. That one's in just too much of an open space for me to be brave enough to take it on. So let's move you up first. Is that a scarecrow in there? What is that? Yeah, it is a scarecrow. I've never noticed that before. Do people still use scarecrows? Don't know. Maybe. I suppose, why would you stop using a scarecrow? I mean, you know, it scares crows. Like, what, have they got, like, modern device? They probably do. They've probably got, like, some sort of ultra, like, sonic sound system that, like, humans can't hear, but only, like, dogs and birds can hear it or something like that, and it scares them off. What's wrong with a good old-fashioned scarecrow? Um, to be honest, buddy, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> just yet. just stay there. You'll be fine. As we use, like, you can overwatch. Okay, I can hear something over this side. Someone's like kicking doors in. I'm pretty sure they are in here. I feel like the door was one of these. It was that one. There we go. So we know they're in there. Just depends on how quiet do we want to be. Well, let's position you here. Can you see them? No? What you can do though is open this door for us so we don't start kicking in doors like them. Although saying that, watch the guy just run through the door that's shut. Because he's going to be a dick about it. Dickabod Crane. Ah, there we go. You're not going to be a complete arsehole. That's good. I'm rolling. It just got 
There we go. We finally have a visual confirmation of Exalt's operatives in the field. And from the looks of them, Exalt is working... Oh crap, double activations? You're taking the piss. Until we know the extent You're taking the piss. I would advise Motherfuckers. You're taking the piss. Alright, what's that guy got? He's got like some sort of marksman scope. Alright, so he's going to have negative penalties if he tries to take me on here. Was there one with a rocket launcher? Couldn't quite see, but I think we're going to go run and gun our first victim. I would go here, but that's only half cover and that worries me. I feel like we'll be alright. We'll be fine here. 59%. I would have thought it would be a bit better there than 59%, but I suppose we might as well take the shot. I'll have a choice. Come on, hit! Did hit, but didn't kill, motherfucker. Alright. Alright. I have to get in it. Oh, that counts as full cover, does it? Interesting. I could flashbang the guy. I would like to, like, double flashbang someone, but... Alright, you get in here. I don't really want a 30... 31% shot chance. It's not the greatest. Flashbanging might be a better idea. Well, let's just see what else we could do. You can't actually see anyone from there, so that's pretty shit. I don't really want to put you up on the roof. You probably won't be able to see anyone from there either, which is going to suck. But unfortunately, I don't really have anywhere better to put you than here, so that's where you're going to have to go. Now, finally, you. We could run and gun with you to right there, actually. That is using our run and gun, but that's a kill. That will leave us with, what was it, a three and a two? We've, so we're four left. Don't think we can get flanked. He'd be leaving himself very open if he wants to come flank me. Alright, fuck it. We'll go for it. We will risk it for the proverbial biscuit. I would love to have been able to go there though, but I just don't want to put my guy in half cover. Seems a little bit too risky if you ask me. Alright, chump. Run. Bad a ghoul. Bag the ghoul. Alright. Bye bye. Oh, I bounced him off the. <laughs> oh, I opened the door. Oh, wow. Hold on a minute. I wish we could do action replays, but the guy. I shot him in the side of the head, so he bounced off the shelving. And then went head first through that door. I'm actually a little bit annoyed that that door got open, to be honest. That could uh, prove a bit problematic, but uh, Jesus, that was that was not nice for that guy. Alright, and you, you can't actually hit any of them, so you might as well hunker down. I would like to come in and try and help, but who knows who I might be activating over here. Although I could really run and gun and like smash him up, but no, I think I think you've got to just stay where you are, unfortunately. I can't risk an activation. Especially not with you and get you caught out in no man's land, then the mission's over, I won't be able to do it. Oh wow, really? Surprise with that shot. Fair play, I suppose. Alright. Hmm, that's really annoying that he's behind that cover. What have you got? 36%. That's not great. But you do have hollow targeting. So what I could do is move you up here, take a shot. You might have a decent chance to hit him anyway. Yeah, 73 from there. I figured it would be pretty good. You might actually kill him if you don't. Oh, I can't believe you didn't even fucking hit him. Alright, well, 46% is 46%. Come on, it's almost 50s. That looks good. Oh, it was good. I thought it looked good. Excellent, okay. So that's two of that group down. There's still three more out there. Uh, you, Badagool, and Assault, so I don't actually want to... I think someone went on Overwatch over there, and that would uh, wouldn't really be something I want to activate, to tell you the truth. Let us gradually move forward. I think that's probably the better Reloading. idea. There we go. Reloading. You can reload. 
and you I mean at some stage I'm going to have to bring you out a little bit to see what's going on but that stage has not arrived yet and you can go on overwatch hopefully our sniper's far enough back now that they're going to try and shoot these guys instead alright what are you doing busting through windows where are you going ah oh, there you are I was going to say, if they hit again, I would have been pretty annoyed. What is this super accuracy? Alright. need you to also double up as our Overwatch buster. I want to send you there. Seems like crazy talk to put you there, doesn't it? Let's go and have a look. Oh, balls! I really didn't need that activation. But we do have one flanked. And... I don't think we can quite get flanked ourselves, so there is that. What can you see? Not a lot. You're not much good to me alive, are you, Turkish? Alright. What about now? Can you see anyone now? You can. Hmm. That's a lot of people, though, isn't it? Alright, we'll take this shot, because this shot could easily kill him. It didn't kill him, you motherfucking piece of shit. Couldn't get a fucking crit on him, eh? This should kill him. But she's in a bit of danger of getting killed herself at this stage. Alright, so that's two left of the original group. Plus these three. So we're back up to five. I think it's time to go for a little peek. Not a big fan of it. Hopefully we don't activate more. Oh, what is... Oh, right, yeah, because be, you'll be seen. Right, I see what you mean. 99% mm, on that guy. I suppose we can take the shot. How much health has he got? Mm. Don't feel great about it from up here. Must be said. 99% does 4 damage. 50% for a critical... Is this a little bit risky? I think it is a little bit risky, isn't it? Can't have him dying, that's the thing. Alright, hunker down. As for the rest of you schmoes, I think that's the guy... I don't know if anyone's over here, you know. Guess we'll find out in a second, won't we? Hmm, would it be worthwhile to come here and then try and flashbang him? Not sure. Not Robert sure. Well, let's move you here. You move less. You can't see anyone. I think I am going to go for the flashbang on that one because there is a bit too much heat going to be applied on our scout over there. And I don't want our scout to die. So, 17% yeah, doesn't entice me to shoot. But I will definitely put a, a flashbang out on you. There we go. Now, it depends on what these two arseholes can do. I am a bit concerned about our um, sniper down there, but some risks sometimes have to be taken. What are you going to do, buddy? What are you going to do? What you going to do? Nothing, apparently. Where are you going? That's not a flank. That's an overwatch. Okay, I can live with that. Where are you going? I think you're running this way. I don't want to lose eyes on you. Oh, no! He's thrown a grenade up there! Don't kill him! I didn't even do any damage to him. Nah. Oh shit, but this could be problematic if he decides to sh Yeah, oh fuck. There was me, all laughing at him. Yeah, nah, you prick. Trying to blow me up, but smart move. Oh, look at him. Come on, gun him. How do you miss from point blank range? Oh no, you hit, actually, but... Not really good enough. You've got- you can't just stand there, can you? You know what, I shouldn't complain about missing from point blank, because he's just missed from point blank range as well. Um, well, the mission's a failure. That's a fucking damn shame. I think this is the first time I've ever failed an Exalt mission. And I mean that as well. Like, I'm like on vanilla, when I did the vanilla campaign, I breezed them all. Even ones I've done offline, I don't think I've ever failed one of these. Oh well. I knew it was a risk to bring him out. Fuck. Well... Is what it is. 
I could get a flank on that arsewipe, but I would have to just stand out in the open, which doesn't seem like a lot of fun to me. Alright. Well, that's heavy cover. Problem is, are you actually going to be able to see anyone if I move you there? I don't think you're going to be able to see him. Who can you see? 36 and a... 26. I don't think you're going to be able to see him, but if you can't, I can at least flashbang the two of them. That's affirmative. So we do have that going for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, take your shot. Take your shot, badass. Now, you can't see him, which is a bit of a shame, but... Uh, hmm. I think that should hit both of them. Might not hit the other one over there. I definitely want this one hit, though. Alright, that should be alright, but we'll see whether it says disorientated, or where it says disorientated. Oh, crap, it didn't actually disorientate that one. That's the one I specifically wanted to hit as well. Hmm, alright. Alright, I get you. I see what you're doing. Well, first off, we need to make sure this arsehole dies. So you can take one to the face. Same job, deflecting them off them. It's pretty cool. Um, I do have a run and gun. Going there could lead to me getting flanked. I could run and gun to there, but then I'm open. Definitely would like to run and gun. But I feel like wherever I would run and gun to would be a very bad position. Hmm. Tough choices. Tough choices indeed. If I had a definite opportunity to flank someone, probably would have used the running gun, but I don't. Could just move a little bit nearer. There we go. So now you can see that guy. I can't believe that guy's not being flanked. Is it worthwhile taking the 36 percenter? I think it really is, to be honest. Alright, steady that weapon, bitch. You, 30%. So one in three. Alright, fuck it. We'll take a one in three from here, because you don't have much else better to do. You're in full cover as well. You missed. Alright, well, whatever. What? Alright, I didn't think that was going to happen. That was pretty poor on my side. Deary me. What are you gonna do? Nothing, that's what you're gonna do. Ah, oh, that guy's got a lot of fucking health. Miss. Oh, come on, don't panic. Oh, and you panicked as well? Alright, now we've got some issues. Now we certainly have some issues. You might die if I leave you here and take this shot, but I don't really have too much of an option. A miss and a bad miss at that. Fuck. Well, you're going to flank them, aren't you? That's what you're going to do. Disasters. If you don't panic, we need to rush out of here and quickly. Been an absolute disaster. Oh shit, and that's probably a kill. Thank god, I don't think we're going to be able to take two of those, though. Yeah, 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 but did we panic? Uh, it's head to the evac zone, my friend. Well... I was going to say you win some, but you lose some, but this 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 wasn't my finest hour. Let's, <laughs> let's put it that way. I'm rolling. Let's 
put you there. I think it would be probably better to hunker down. Unfortunately, I don't actually have um, a scout here, so if they put some overwatches on me, I could be in a bit of bother. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've just got to get out of here. We've lost some good troops on this mission. Ah, oh, what? You can't quite get there? Alright, never mind. Neither can you, so what's going to happen is that you're going to run here. Hmm. I, I would love to take the shot to try and kill him, but I really need to just hunker down. I don't think he can get to me, can he? He might, well, if he can, I don't really have much of another option to try and get out of here, so. We'll see what he does. It might be a grenade or something like that. Can he get there in flank? He can't quite get there in flank. I was going to say, he should miss from there, and he did. Well, we were hunkered down. It's not that we, the, the, the distance, it was just the hunkering down part. Yeah, hunker down is so good, man. It's like better than being in full cover. Yeah, take your shots. As long as you don't go on overwatches, that's what I was worried about. Alright. Get in there. We'll do a run and gun. Just to see if we can't kill that little arsehole as well. It'd be nice. There's a going away present. Alright. 80%. Come on, hit and kill. Yeah, there you go. Take that! He's dead. He is dead. Uh, no, we want to abort the mission. Well, it is what it is. You can't win them all. But you can also try not to lose as badly as I did there. Certainly disappointing, but it is what it is. I lost one of our laser pistols. Great, we got one of our alloy platins back, and instantly it needs to be repaired again. Well, it is what it is. Could do with another one. They are kind of handy, but not that handy. <laughs> All right, let's go and find another mission. Hopefully, cheer us up. Thin man research, excellent. Okay. Improved medikit project available in the foundry. Superb. All right, let's come out of here. Flexible physiology of the many of uh, the thin man has given us new ideas for improving the medkit and restorative mists. We now believe we can increase the amount of healing delivered in a single charge by three for medkits and two for restorative mist. I uh, definitely kind of want to do that because that is pretty handy. Improved body armor is something that uh, I think we want as well <laughs> fairly soon. So let's go and get some improved body armor. Engineering the foundry. Improved med kit. Wow, it is expensive though, isn't it? 180. And I really don't have anything to sell. I mean, I do, but not really stuff that I want to sell. I think that's more to the point. I don't really want to sell a flight computer. Or meld. Or chrysalis carcasses, for that matter. Hmm. Oh! I'd still be short, though. That's the thing. All right, fuck it. We'll, we'll come back to that when we've got more money. Meanwhile, keep searching. Give me something nice and easy that gives me money and alloys. Oh, an adoption shirt. Let's see what we got. Light, okay. Port Said. I've got the coordinates locked in. Large urban structure. All right, cool. Well, you know the drill, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of this episode. We will uh, come back to that in the next one. Hopefully, it'll be a bit of a cheery up episode for us. But you know, the last one—it wasn't a complete disaster. This episode, this this, this last mission, but uh, it wasn't good. We did lose a couple of really good people as well, which is always a bit of a bummer. But hey ho, that's the fun of watching me because I'm not some sort of cyborg who just destroys every mission. Yeah. At least that's the way I like to sell myself. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, leave your comments, leave your you know suggestions, all that jazz. If you want to be a soldier, let me know who uh, your name is, what your name is, and who what class you want to be, and we'll get that done. Might might have to wait a while though. <laughs> Some people have been waiting, but uh, anyway, until next time. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye bye.